Hello fellow masters of Chaldea. Have you ever felt like you needed a little bit of extra luck boost in your gacha rolls? Well no need to worry, because I have compiled as many different types of FGO gacha rituals from all over the internet that may improve your luck when rolling. Watch through the whole video to find which I personally used for over a year to get the servants I had wanted. Also, these rituals may or may not work, so you know don't shoot the messenger. Number 1. The first gacha ritual may be one of the most time-consuming ones. For this ritual you just need to cosplay as the character you are trying to summon. Extra points if you lack the part as well. Number 2. For this one, you would need to research into the actual legend, myth, or history of whatever servant you are trying to summon. For example, trying to read every Sherlock Holmes book when trying to summon him. Number 3. This next is the one that I've had the most success with when summoning. Basically, the moment you see the first summoning circle you click the screen to skip and see what you get without having to wait. This honestly feels the most efficient to me personally and I have managed to get every servant that I wanted using it for over a year. Number 4. On this one all you need to do is keep your credit card or whatever near the screen to show the gacha gods that you would be willing to spend money to get the servant. Number 5. No thoughts, mind empty. Rid yourself of all worldly desires before doing your roles. Number 6. Lower your expectations and only anticipate losing everything. When you expect nothing, anything you get will be considered a win especially if it is your target. Number 7. Legend has it that summoning at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. can increase your odds of getting your target when rolling, however be careful at that time because you may end up getting spooked. Hey, get it? Whatever, I thought it was a funny pun. Number 8. The next gacha ritual is one many FGO players have most likely have heard around. The famous Kaidasian ritual, which involves doing 5 singles, tickets or quartz, before doing multis. From some of the videos I have seen on YouTube, it seems pretty effective. Number 9. Where's Waldo? More like where's Angra? This ritual involves summoning the infamously hard to summon Angra mind you from the friend point gacha before summoning on your target banner. However, the odds of summoning are at 0.1% so get ready to use a lot of friend points and time. Number 10. The next ritual also involves summoning on the friend point gacha before your target banner too. However, this one is much easier as it involves summoning three silver or higher servants, embers, or craft essences. Number 11. This one is probably one of the most favorite to use for most people who do the gacha as it is lore accurate, which is to use a catalyst to get your target servant. The catalyst can be anything from merch of the character to food that they may like or even art you made of the servant no matter how good or bad it is. Disclaimer cheese is not, I repeat not, a good catalyst to summon Queen Methoth. Number 12. Just dance away all of your bad luck in order to get the servant, even if you end up looking like a fool it doesn't matter as long as you get what you came for. Number 13. Probably not the most hygienic ritual on the list, but I have heard of getting the servant they wanted while being on the Ahan throne of heroes. Number 14. This ritual involves finding some, off-brand of the servant you want and researching them thoroughly before rolling. Of course purely for academic purposes. Number 15. Pray for some divine luck and you may be blessed with getting what you want. However, try not to sell your soul for the servant. Number 16. For this ritual you would have to have the banner you want to summon on to coincide with your birthday. But, if it does maybe some of that birthday magic could help your rolls. Number 17. This one is not so much a ritual to improve your luck as it is just understanding whether you will have good luck or not if you summon right then through intuition. Number 18. And finally. If your luck is not enough steal somebody else's family, friend, neighbor, or coworker, it doesn't matter, if you know someone with really good luck then throw away your pride and have them summon on your behalf. That wraps up all the different gacha rituals that I found and compiled, hopefully it helps you in your roles. If you used any of these rituals leave a comment with how it went for you. Also, if you like this please leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks and good luck on your roles.